everyone, Tina here. I'm back again with a fun card project to share with you. Thank you so much for joining me over here on my YouTube channel. Today's project, we are going to be using some Better Press. We're also going to be using some cocktail dyes. We have olive martinis here. Spellbinders has a whole collection built around um, some classy glasses. And we're going to be using olive martinis. And then there is the tropical flare that is meant to coordinate with this. It's great on its own, actually, because there's an umbrella. Let me show you what's in here. You got an umbrella, flamingo, orange slice, kind of a buffet of cocktail embellishments. <laughs> so we're going to be using, actually, the only thing we're going to be using in this set are the cherries. For the most part, we're going to be using this. For my background, we're going to better press or letter press with classic glasses. Um, this is an A2 panel. My card today is going to be a 5x7, and I'm going to kind of stretch this by adding some borders to the top and bottom on my card, um, but I did want this in my background. It's going to be very subtle, but I did want to do a little bit of letter pressing on my background using the classy glasses. My greeting is also from the same collection, and this is a press plate and die set. And it's one press plate, one die set, so you'll have lots of greetings left over to put in your packaging for future projects. So all these coordinate with this fancy little glass here, which is a martini glass, and I've never had a martini. Um, today we're going to make a cosmopolitan. So let's jump in and do some die cutting. We're going to make two. My cosmopolitans are going to be the same, so I'll just show you how to do one, and then I'll do the other one off camera. We're going to take our our stemware. <laughs> I'm going to die cut this out once with white cardstock and then once with fog cardstock. It's a very pale gray. You can see it's very pale gray. We're going to die cut this out twice. And then to create my cosmopolitan, I'm going to bring in some barely peach cardstock. We're going to take this piece, die cut this out with our barely peach and then this triangle piece with Barely Peach. Now, I wanted some cranberries for my cocktail, and I die cut out olives to see if they could pass as cranberries. Let me show you here. But unfortunately, they really did look like olives, so that's why I opted for the other die set, because I thought we could, t we could take the cherries from here and turn them into cranberries. Okay, so I'm going to actually bring in some red card stock. I cut out, I'm going to die cut out a couple sets of these because I want three. Three is always a good number. And then there is a little twist that you can create with lemon, lime, or oranges. I'm going to create a twist with li uh, lemon. So the biggest will be the lightest, and then the one little piece that has the speckles on it, which is the rind, I'll go with the darkest. And that's all there is to it. I love the little onion in here too. But oh, oh, you know what? That is not it. I'm going to take the little toothpick and I'm going to die cut this out with some brown cardstock. Let me go grab a piece. This is Spellbinder's Portobello and we'll die cut that out with that. This piece is for layering so if you want a tri-level of your cocktail you could add this piece but I'm just going to do a little shading to create that look. So I'm going to run everything through my die cut machine and I'll be right back. Once I have everything die cut out I was kind of happy that this stayed in my glass. The top piece and the inside piece of the stemware pop out. Um, and I want, I want to take the gray out, so we'll put these to the side. I'm going to leave these in here. In fact, I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to bring in some tape. If you have your best ever craft tape, use that. I am out of that. <laughs> So I'm bringing in washi tape that I don't use very often. So what I'm going to do is just tape my glass piece on the back, press down really good. Okay, so this is all one piece now. Now I'm going to use my glue. Now I'm going to take this piece using my glue. And if you guys are new, you'll notice that I have a new glue toy. And this is the My Sweet Petunia glue press. 
and I have to tell you, I toggled for months in deciding to get this. Um, and I tried to find out if it would clog, if this thing clogged. And I have to tell you, I this has been on my desk for two days and it hasn't clogged. And I, I really, really like it. So if you guys are on the fence about the My Sweet Petunia Glue Press, um, I say I say it is an investment purchase, but because it is expensive for a glue press. But you will, I promise you, you will love it. Love, love it. Because I hope you love it as much as I do, because I think this is just genius. And it hasn't clogged. There's a little press in there. It hasn't even added any. There's no glue in there either. I've only been using it for about a week, but so far so good. So that's my glass. Okay, we have fog around the outside edge. Next, I'm going to take, well, let's actually glue our, our lemon rind. Lemon rind is two pieces. The lemon rind looks so cool after you put it together. You just add glue here to the top and here. You skip one, go to the next one, and you can add this piece. It just fits like a puzzle, but I love those two little layers to sure make it look like a lemon rind. <laughs> okay, and then here's my cherries. They kind of look like jelly beans now but they're gonna look like cranberries once I have them in my glass. And there's my, my toothpick. <laughs> okay, let's color in our Cosmopolitan. To do it, it's very easy. I'm bringing in my pink ink. This is almost like a mid-tone pink. Adding a little bit of ink to the bottom. The blending tools that I'm using are from Simon Says Stamp, and I, I, I just love them because they have the, the caps and they snap. You do have to twist. Sometimes if, if you don't twist them in, your hairs will stick out. I have one of them. I didn't twist very good. One of the hairs are sticking out, but that's the only one. But I just love these. Um, I'll link it down below. But I'm using Pink Fresh Studio Sparkling Rose Ink, and I'm going really heavy at the bottom and kind of fading up. I don't want to go all the way to the top. And then with this piece, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to add ink to one side very lightly and that's all there is to this one. Now I do want to add a little bit of orange. Okay, so I'm bringing in my orange ink. This is Clementine and I'm going to add some orange on the bottom just a little bit. I, I still want to be able to see that pink and that's all there is to that. Maybe a little orange here. Okay, that's it. Let's put it this way. Now for my cranberries, just to give them a more cranberry look, I'm bringing in... Now I'm going to bring in my black ink. I'm going to use Memento. This is the one that has the hairs that are kind of flying away because I didn't twist when I put this away. But I'm going to add just a little bit of black to my cherries that were turning into cranberries that look like jelly beans. <laughs> I hope it comes all together, otherwise it might just look like jelly beans. But hey, that might be a new drink. Let's go ahead and clean off the work surface and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to use my glue and we're going to add this to the base of our glass. It's just going to fit in here like a puzzle. Okay, that looks nice as it is, but once you add this piece here, it kind of brings it to life and gives it a 3D look. With the ink that's on top, I'm going to adhere this. We'll just tack this down. I have a little bit of black ink here, here, but I think I can cover it with my toothpick here. I'm going to add my lemon rind right over the top. Maybe we'll turn it a little bit. And then I'm going to add my cranberries. But, so let's Go ahead and add some glue. I'm going to layer all three together. And I'm going to add some more glue here. 
And let's go ahead and add our toothpick here. And there is our drink. Now I'm going to do one more and I will be right back. Okay, so we have two glasses. This one I added the orange or the lemon rind on the left and then I did just put the uh, cranberries at the bottom of the glass as if they were just sinking. No toothpick in this one. Now we're going to do some better pressing. So I have two pieces of cardstock. This is a four and a half by seven. I mentioned we're going to be making a five by seven card. Um, so it's the length of my card base, but the width is, is a half inch shy. Okay, and then this piece is slight a uh, quarter inch smaller. So you could actually mat these together. Okay, this is what we're going to be better pressing with. Let's bring in our platform. And let's bring in our press plate. Okay. I'm going to add this. I'm going to add some adhesive. And then I'm going to add my top plate here. And I'm going to press. So this is exactly where I want to go. I'm going to use white ink. I'm using my Simon Says Stamp White Premium Pigment Ink. And this is going to probably... Oops. Don't want to have that shifted. But this is going to be very subtle on my background. Okay, let's take a look. And that is, you know, that's really subtle. So, let's switch it. Let's let's switch it out and grab a pale gray ink. Take a look. Okay, much better. In the pictures, you'll be able to see it. So I just wanted something very soft and pale. I'm gonna go ahead and move this. I'll... My card front panel, I still have a little adhesive here, so it's gonna stick. And I'm using Barely Peach cardstock, the same cardstock we used earlier. I'm gonna run this through my die cut machine. I'll be right back. Let's take a look. Look how gorgeous. Lots of beautiful sentiments. Okay. Go ahead and wipe this off. If you have a better press machine, I highly suggest just using scotch tape and taping down acetate. And um, it works fabulous. And then, um, again, there's just alcohol in here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. We're going to take the coordinating die, and I'm going to die cut out my greetings. I love that you can die cut this out in one shot. And then while we're die cutting, I'm going to bring in another die set. This is, this is the Spellbinders Timeless Heart Border. And really, any kind of border you have would work. Um, this one just is just real dainty and delicate. Um, I'm going to die cut out this with white cardstock. And then these I'm going to layer together and die cut out with the Barely Peach. That way we can mat them together and I want to do a little ink blending on the background. So I'll do this and I'll be right back. Once I have everything die cut, I chose my greeting. Sip, sip, hooray. Okay, and let's go ahead and build our card now. I'm gonna, I did create my five by seven card base. So it's five by seven. What we're gonna do is take our background, our very soft and subtle background. We're gonna layer these two together. This is gonna leave me a quarter inch border on the left and the right. After we have this done, I'm gonna bring back the same inks that I use for our cocktail.
Mm. Okay, and our bell's just so pretty. I just love this lacy look. Okay, I'm going to, I put foam tape behind here. I'm just going to remove the release paper. And this is going to go at the very bottom. I'm going to evenly space it. And I'll do the same thing with the top. Making sure those scallops are on the top and bottom. We're going to add our cocktails right in the middle. I'm kind of going to overlap them a little bit. So I'm going to add adhesive here. I think that's a good spot. So now I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to put foam tape behind here. Okay, let's go ahead and add our our pretty drinks. And I put a foam square here. I'm going to remind I'm going to remove this and add some I think my sip sip hooray is lonely, so we're going to bring in another greeting. This one, I think, this one says, let's celebrate. Let's spread out that greeting in that area here. Make it a little more balanced. Let me just scoot this down. Okay, now I'm going to bring in some of my opal gems. We're just going to add a few. And I also used my glazing glue and went over my lemon rind and then also my cranberries slash cherries <laughs> slash jelly beans. <laughs> and that finishes my card today. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.